This is All Good Automation. Uh, I'm uh, currently uh, standing in front of my uh, bench that I use for uh, assembling the uh, circuit cards for this uh, high current fed output board that I've kind of showed you on a previous video. This is the uh, circuit card that, uh, that I've uh, had mass produced. Uh, I should say the the circuit card is, is 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 not populated. I'm actually the one populating these boards. But uh, I want to give you a little idea about this high current fed output board. I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. But the uh, copper on this board is not the standard ordinary um, copper that you'd find on most circuit boards. This is a five ounce copper. Uh, board. Uh, the thickness of the copper on this board is about uh, 30 thousandths thick and it's double sided. And so this is capable of a lot of current to a source. Uh, the voltage drop across these uh, high current paths are very, very small and uh, you don't get any heating on these boards because of the uh, copper on these boards being extremely thick. Um, I paid a lot of extra money to uh, get these boards manufactured in this way uh, so that it could be uh, uh, a, a device that's going to last and, and uh, be of use. Um, th these are the components that uh, go on the board. I got it in a tray ready to go to, to assemble these boards and I'll be doing that in the next week is assembling these, these this stack of, of boards that I have here for for sale. Uh, anyway this is the, uh, the unit as it looks uh, uh, assembled and uh, has the uh, the Molex connectors on the on the end of the board here these these two one the, the connection on this side hooks to the PWM. This one, this one connects to this cable connects to the the uh, current sensor. And this one connects to the temperature sensor. This is a voltage regulator. This is an optical isolator. This is a FET driver. Um, these are just some filter capacitors. And uh, there, this is the uh, uh, current sensor. And this connector over here is for uh, the ability to disable or enable the output circuit at will. Uh, by connecting two of the pins together on this uh, connector, you can disable the output. These capacitors are filter capacitors to uh, uh, kill the ringing that occurs when the FETs turn off. <coughs> and uh, of course, I've already explained the uh, high current connections uh, that are on the board here. Uh, the the FET inside this board is uh, rated for 195 amps. I kind of recommend a 80 amp uh, continuous rating on it. Um, it has a, a 500 watt uh, heat sink on it with a uh, 60 millimeter fan to keep this thing running nice and cool. And uh, then over here we have, of course, the Arduino and the EBN shield card that it connects to uh, and uh, of course underneath is the uh, Arduino microprocessor itself. Uh, anyway this is kind of a tour of uh, what I've been doing uh, the last uh, while. While you have not seen me on YouTube for a long while I have been quite busy and have not posted for for that reason. Anyway this is all good automation uh, working, still working on uh, producing devices for uh, increasing gas mileage on vehicles and experimentation with hydroxy or HHO gas. This is all good automation.